midway through the second half. Butch, uh, Stevens. To Drinkle. And I think a booking for that. Yes, that challenge is going to end up with a booking. Robert Corner. His name goes in the book. Yes, you would uh, have to pin somebody against the wall with a revolver and say, now, come on, give me your prediction, or else you don't give it here, do you? No, oh, right, it's, it's, it's actually a very exciting game. It's, they're sitting here wondering who's going to score next. Well, I did say at the start, I have to be honest, I didn't expect the, the, the high-scoring game that there was the last time they played for various reasons. It's difficult to recreate exactly what happened the last time and because of the game of Pataudry. Now, we're ending up with this. Yes, I think there's a few more still to come. So, free kick to Rangers. Looks like Walters is taking this. Now Cooper. Way to that far side and Robertson was there. I think the booking for that. I think it was slightly hard. It was a foul, but Ferguson was running in and the other lad was going backwards. I don't honestly think it was worth a booking. I didn't think Connors was a moment ago either. I think they were both fouls, but they weren't really worth booking. And this was it. Challenge there, and a very late one when you see it again, though. The amazing thing is neither goalkeepers had really a great save to make. Probably just as well they haven't been put on at any great pressure. They don't look all that great today. Police looking good and Aberdeen fighting very hard. Twenty minutes of the game left. He did that beautifully and passes to nobody. Now here. That was meant for Ali McCoy's Miller covering. And that goes out in a very good defensive pass. Look at this. Beautiful walk here by Connor at his very best. He cut it too far back. Mark Hughes was running out of options there. His final pass wasn't of the best, but the skill was brilliant. That should go right through to Snelder. Stevens, now Ferguson on the run. Beautiful run by Ferguson, well covered by the Aberdeen defence. Brown, Walters. And no offside. The Aberdeen defenders came out. And the ball swirling past them. There is a bit of a wind out there now, and I think it's swirling round. Here's McKimmy. saying he ducked for that and uh, dangerous player can only assume yeah it's, it's, it's amazing how they always give it one, one way you always think it should be the other way 
Quickly taken. Ooh, that's brilliantly put in by Simpson. Almost caught Woods out. He had come off his line and Neil Simpson quite brilliantly tried to chip him. He just eased up to it. Bonnekin. Fine move by the Aberdeen midfield player. And ultimately a very good save. Is up. Goal kick. Charlie Nicholas. I think he quite accidentally had a knock on that foot as he went for it. I haven't seen much of Charlie, but you really don't need to see much of Charlie in the game. Here he was in it here, tried to swing round on that. So I say, give him half a oh. chance, then he can score a winner, Harry. Yeah, he's that type of player. He's had two amazing runs today, but you haven't seen much of him. Once again, Miller up very well. Neil Cooper fighting for it here, and the throw to Rangers. I think the linesman was right in the first place. He changed his mind. It's very much a stalemate, and maybe a mistake, or perhaps even better, a touch of greatness from somebody or other. Good Sunday's game. I'm sure neither goalkeeper will be happy with the performance today. Here's Wilkins. Brown. Butcher. That's a useful ball, but cut off. Almost. Now Walton. And just behind that time. He's been very closely marked. But he might just get a little bit of freedom that time. Fifteen minutes remaining. That's the score line. Good jumping by David Dodds. And that's a superb ball by Nicholas. And Butcher. Quite happy to concede another corner kick. Seeing his goalkeeper was not pushing to come out for that. And Rangers have certainly been not too happy with these cross balls, which is extremely surprising, considering the caliber of the men they have in there and their experience. again by the English internationalist. And away goes Goff, the break by Rangers. No, he overdid it, he was too anxious to rush forward there. That's a free kick. Connor has had a very fine match. He's distributed the ball very well. His individual skills have been a delight. And there's Brown. Walters. To Drinko. Referee waving play on. Kimmy. To Ben. Oh, 
Normally you would say in a cup final the team that would score at this stage would go on to win, but having seen the fight back twice, you could hardly do that. Aberdeen playing it around easily. Miller. Robertson. Ferguson. Without about that free kick. Well, you wonder about these tackles from the back alley. One is effective, one is clumsy, and doesn't bring anything about. You know, there's sometimes inconsistency in whether she's good cooking or not. Butcher. Brown. Just been handed the official attendance, which is 72,122. It's a remarkable feature, and obviously, this game will be watched by eventually an audience of millions around the world. They've had four goals and a vastly entertaining match. Not a classic, but the goals have come just when it looked as if one team would get ahead, and that always makes for a good game. Free kick as Charlie Nicholas was down from that sweeping tackle by Butcher. The Aberdeen physio will be coming on. I think um, at a stage like this, if you consider Rangers and what they did last season in the cup final, the player they would miss at this stage would be the likes of Duran gets into the box very quickly. Yes, you're looking for someone who's got a touch of skill and ability that the others don't have. And with losing Durant, he's that type of player who can really go from midfield into the box and finish off the move. A fleet protector. Good looking goal too. looks to me a 
are just been struggling a little. Thank you. 
could have broken anyway. Golf is there. And it's there. And the point. Three two for Rangers. Only a couple of minutes left. And that's full. Bounce and an out English for Aberdeen. Down to the point. The snow goes right through his legs into the lead.
Yeah, he scored, he scored two goals in a point where that actually gave him it. But I, I, I felt that Bay of Aberdeen and Fergus to Rangers would have been another two if you easier want it. Prepare to come up and receive the cup. 